sweet. They're so freaking cute. Just look at them. This one snores. She snores all loud. They look so Good morning. Say back. Good morning. Good morning. Say good morning. <laughs> oh, looking rough. Looking rough. Here. Here. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. We're here at church. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. I'm usually off. Today. I mean, I'm usually working today, but I happen to be off, which is really rare. That Lonnie is there. Hey, Lonnie. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> but yeah, we're about to go in and enjoy the service. And we actually have a secret to tell my mom today so it's gonna be crazy what's wrong with her she wants a stroller <laughs> that's what she wants she pushed point to the to the trunk i popped the trunk she's pointing towards the stroller she's talking think about being grateful it doesn't matter if you don't express it because the other person doesn't receive it it comes across it's ungrateful this is why it is so difficult to see this in our lives. In fact, today, some of you are sitting here right now and you are so thankful that somebody else is here to hear this. And you're thinking, man, I wish my kids were here. I wish, why? Because you can see it in them, but you can't see it in yourself. In fact, we have couples that are sitting here right next to each other and you are equally grateful the other person is here to hear this teaching. Difficult to see in ourselves. Which is why the conviction to grow in gratitude, to break through discontentment is such a big deal. It's why it matters inside of our relationships as well. Because there's something we need to know, write it down in your notes. Here it is, gratitude grows contentment and ingratitude grows discontentment. Hey, you can have faith in God and surrender your life to Jesus Christ and follow him every single day and still ask or think or, or this question in your life. Why doesn't God do something about that? And when the that is personal, when it's something you care desperately about in your life, the answer to this question matters. In fact, it carries significant weight in your life. And it's a question that the Apostle Paul, who we're talking about today, asked himself. Because Paul had a that that he cared desperately about. And he went to God and asked, why did you do something about that? And in this moment, his words from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18, when he says, give thanks in all circumstances, is about to be put to the test by God. Mommy. 